Hey believers so in one of my previous vlog i have been asked to make a video on what books do i use for my neat preparations so here's the video so let us start and enjoy the video so let us start with the chemistry subject first for the chemistry i have definitely an ncert textbook make sure you have ncert of all subjects because that is the most important book that you should have if you have purchased uh, ncert that is so good but if you haven't purchased ncert book yet uh, please go and buy these books because this is the most important books and if you guys are from another board uh, other than cbsc then you should have ncert first then other books so yeah this is and chemistry part 1 then i have part 2 of the same book which is uh, definitely from ncert so the next book i have is the reference book from mtg uh, which is ncert at your fingertips i have uh, told about this book previously also in this uh, like in my channel but uh, this that was from another uh, subject this is of chemistry and it is it is really good i will going to tell you about this book that how to use it and how to solve the questions from this book basically i have purchased this book just for the practice purpose because all you need to uh, practice and all you need to study is from ncert only and this book is also based on the ncert content now let us move to the physics this is physics uh, textbook part 2 of ncert and this is part 2 of the same book it is all covered up because this is second handed basically i have received this book from my cousin so it is uh, second handed but trust me the pages inside it is all new and you won't feel like it is second handed anyways let us just move ahead so so as a reference book i have the same book mtg at ncert at your fingertips of physics so uh, i'm going to tell you about this book so let us just move ahead with biology for biology ncert is the most important book than anything else like uh, ncert is important for all the subject but for biology it is most important the neat exam contains 50% of biology and ncert is uh, like uh, you know it it is the only key so so for bio i have uh, the reference book which is of same ncert at your fingertips and uh, uh, let me tell you that the all three books contains the ncert content only as you guys can see by seeing the uh, you know title of the book so this is all about ncert this you will get all the ncert content only now before telling you to practice from the reference book that i have let me tell you that how to revise uh, from uh, the ncert book and how to revise from every book so uh, first of all let me tell you uh, let me show you my notes this is the, the notes that i have made i am not able to show this uh, really properly but this is the notes i have highlighted some uh, points and some sentences uh, some terms which is really important so now uh, let me tell you that how do i make notes so so the uh, you just have to make notes from the ncert only you don't have to make notes from any other uh, reference book because lot of reference book contains lot of definitions but is it is in very short form it is just for like very uh, quick revision so you don't have to make notes for quick revision you have to make notes for a your better understanding but also for the revision but it is a very it should be a thorough revision so for a thoroughly uh, revised thing you have to make notes precisely which contains all the topic which is really important for you so now uh you have to just uh, make notes from the ncert uh, like every topic you read and every topic you study you have to make points on the notes and you have to write it okay now let me tell you that how do you practice the uh, uh, the chapter so uh so suppose i am studying biology and i have to practice the questions from biology so first of all let me tell you that this book contains ncert notes first so you will going to get uh, the ncert notes from every topic that uh, ncert contains so if you have to analyze your head me notes then you can uh, take a look on that but you have to just analyze it you don't have to copy all the things from the book you have to just analyze it then we have mcqs corner 
webinar which is all extracted from ncrt so for each and every topic you will going to get every question like lot of questions from each and every topic every topic you study you can get the questions so you can practice the questions then we have assertion and reason corner which definitely you will get assertion reason type of questions and also we have ncrt exemplar problems which is definitely ncrt exemplar problems uh, you will going to get a book which is called ncrt exemplar in which you will going to get lot of questions so ncrt exemplar is very good really really important for the ncrt book so yeah after that you will also going to get exam archives so exam archives contain all the previous year questions so you will going to get all the previous year questions which is really important for any competitive exam if you are preparing for any competitive exams you must have to read previous year questions i personally like this part so yeah and then you will going to get the next chapter and every chapter contains the same thing and for every subject you will going to get the same thing which is really important like i the book contains all the things i want i am kind of a lazy person so i just want something which is really useful and worth for me and i have just got it and definitely ncrt is the most important book if you are not getting ncrt then you have to purchase it right away so yeah